Hey, so in this video, I'm just going to be going over uh, the property, the main properties of alkane, alkenes, and uh, just sort of like the pi sigma bonds, and maybe we'll even go into drawing some alkenes and um, and naming a few. So the first thing we need to talk about is that uh, alkenes. Let me zoom in a bit here. Alkenes have the general formula Cn H2n, and you may have seen uh, something similar to this for maybe alkanes. Alkanes is Cn H2n plus two. So obviously we we know here we're gonna we're gonna uh, see that there's gonna be two less hydrogens in alkene than an alkane, and you know you may have seen this for an alcohol. Alcohol Cn H2n plus 1OH. Uh, now, what's special about alkenes is that they are unsaturated. That they are unsaturated. So in each alkene, there's going to be at least one carbon carbon double bond. And uh, essentially, essentially, this double bond is uh, it has a higher uh, bond enthalpy than just a than just a singular carbon carbon double bond. I believe singular carbon carbon double bond is about three hundred seventy four three hundred forty seven sorry, and a carbon double bond is six hundred and twelve kilojoules per mole and kilojoules per mole. And this is quite interesting because, uh, as we've seen with alkanes, they obviously undergo, um, you know, a radical substitution and combustion. Whereas alkenes undergo quite a lot more reactions, uh, mostly addition reactions, really with hydrogen and halogens. But we'll, we'll go over those in a later video. But what? What makes alkenes more reactive is this uh, double bond. You've also seen one of my previous videos where I talk about cis-trans. Um, cis-trans ster and stereoisomerism. Um, this double bond cause, obviously causes restricts rotation. So we have, um, you know, like the trans and the cis isomers, E and Z and whatnot. But we're not going to go into that too much in this video. Um, all right, so I'm just going to draw out the first alkene that we see. The first alkene is ethene, like this. And I'm not drawing in the bonds because I want to show you a, a, a special model here that I can use to, to help describe what this double bond really is. Because inside this double bond, inside this double bond here, we have a sigma bond and we have a pi bond and now bo sigma bonds are also present in singular bonds but pi bonds are only present in double bonds and 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 above so here i'm just going to this this is the sort of overlapping here with the sigma bond and note these um the carbon carbon i've talked about this in a previous video but the carbon carbon um, bond is essentially an overlap of the sp3 hybrid orbitals. Uh, you don't really need to know too much about that for A level, but it's quite interesting. And I definitely have covered it in one of my previous videos about uh, alkenes, about um, types of bonding. Sorry. So here we can see that as the overlapping occurred it's it's made two different types of bonds and this this uh this model here represents this double bond that we've drawn here and then obviously we have the sigma bonds between the carbons and hydrogens and why really why this only has four hydrogens is because of the double bond if you remember carbon can bond up to four times because of its valence, which is four. And so, because it's already using two of its electrons to join up with the other carbon, 
it then only has two free remaining electrons to bond up with hydrogen. Now, the, what I want to talk about is this pi bond. Now, this pi bond, why? This is what makes it more reactive than an alkene. This pi bond right here makes it more reactive than an alkene. And that's because this pi bond, this pi bond has a uh, it has a high electron density around it. High electron density. Which means um, it's I mean obviously overall more negative, so it's obviously able to attract more um more to its um double bonds more to the to the bonds so for example you can see how with an alkene it's sort of it, you need this uv light to um create radicals and so forth however with an alkene you don't you don't need this as much because of this high electron density around um caused from from by the pi bonds and and really that's why it's able to uh, that's why it's more reactive than an alkane because it it can attract so much more you know it contracts the hydrogens it attracts electrophiles and whatnot we know obviously uh, these alkenes can be formed by uh, cracking of a larger alkane so let me draw out here. Let me draw out here an alkene. We're just going to draw out our. Just going to draw out our ethene here, but in a. Just in displayed formula. And what's important to note is that each. Each of the the electron densities repel by the same amount, so uh, a, a bond angle is formed. So there's electron density in every bond, but obviously the double bond has a higher electron density. So we can see that it has this it, it has this um, trigonal planar shape. It has this trigonal planar shape because there's a higher electron density here, which is causing more repulsion. But um, yeah, we can see at any point this is this will be one hundred and twenty degrees. This will be one hundred and twenty degrees, and this will also be one hundred and twenty degrees because there aren't any lone pairs um, taking off some of that. And so, as I said previously, the shape around this carbon here is is going to be um trigonal planar trigonal planar and i do intend to make a uh, inorganic chemistry video just explaining all the different shapes so stay stay up to date with that if you're not too sure how to draw the shapes um we'll actually talk about one more shape which i've i've spoken about before but say we now have propene here What would the what would the bond angle and shape be around this carbon? You can see it's attached to four different things. They all have the same repulsion. Each bonding pairs have the same repulsion. So around th this would be obviously tetrahedral. Tetrahedral. Uh, and obviously a bond angle of one hundred nine. I believe it's 109.5 degrees. It's it's somewhere between 111 and 108 degrees, but I think it's it's close to 109.5, maybe 109. Um, and one last thing I want to go over is just simply drawing alkenes in in skeletal formula. So say I have say they ask you to draw butene. But, butene, and we obviously know this is going to be a cis trans isomer, but we can look past that for the moment, and it would just you draw your four carbon skeleton as I've shown you before, 
and you just put in the double bond here. There's no need to show any of the hydrogens, whatever. You just draw your double bond from carbon 2 to carbon 3, like so. Butuanine looks a bit odd, but there you go. You have your double bond from carbon 1 to carbon 2, and that is for bute 1 in. So just a just a quick preview. You should be un now able to understand that it's an unsaturated organic compound because it contains at least one carbon carbon double bond. They they obviously have a homologous series of CN H two N. And because of the pi bond, there's a there's a sort of higher there's a higher electron density around this double bond, which is the reasons why it's more reactive than alkanes and in the next couple of videos, I'm going to be talking about the different reactions of this alkene. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful. Uh, I've never asked this before, but uh, if you if you did actually enjoy, it, make sure to leave a like.